And you can bolt on a supercharger kit that comes with supercharger, air intake, intercooler, spark plugs, coils, and the stuff you need to tune it for like five grand, I think. And this thing will right out of the box. Boom, another 100 horsepower. Forgot to put this hose clamp down. Now, I don't know exactly where this breather hose needs to be yet, so we'll, once again, we will snug this up. All right, there's a little bit of pressure on it. Now, we'll get this on. Yeah, and see for the heat shield, I'm thinking this bracket's gonna have to be bent to fit what I need. So we'll go ahead and get the filter housing. Bolted down, we got some hardware here. Just bolting the filter housing up. You wanna have a flat washer, a lock washer. All right, got these tightened. Go ahead and grab the last rubber boot. And these boots do have a stopper in the middle for center. And I was right about, I'm gonna have to bend that tab a little. Comes with the rubber seal here. This will help protect your paint. It also helps kind of keep the air directed coming from the factory dump location. So maybe it'll snag that rubber and it'll just cinch it on down. Look at that. It's called using your brain. We can cry when stuff like this doesn't fit, but usually just figuring it out's a lot better. Better for everyone involved. And you know, after you get done finagling all this stuff, this actually fits really nice. It's just figuring it out. A little bit of tweaking, pushing, and pulling. All right, here's the final fitment. The top rubber is the right length to go around here. Looks nice. It has a little bit of play because that rubber bushing in there. Uh, the vent is hooked up. I like it. It does come with extra hoses and bigger hoses of different sizes. Last thing I need to do, mass airflow sensor. It should slide in here and twist. Okay, so the O-ring makes it very hard to get this in, but this little tab needs to be pointed down-ish when you put it in. Okay, everything's bolted up, buttoned up, good to go. Threw a sticker on there because I, I like stickers. Um, one thing I forgot to mention, when you're doing these upgrades to your car, always unhook your negative cable. Uh, I always let mine sit for a minimum of half an hour, but that lets all the factory sensors and stuff reset because your car's going to have either different coils, plugs, uh, injectors, cold air intake, you just need you need to reset the parameters so it can relearn with the new stuff. No need to tune with these bolt-on items. Okay, so yeah, you don't need to tune with this stuff. Um, supposedly with the cold air intake, it'll gain eight horsepower. Uh, don't know that I believe that, but it's whatever. But from what I've read online, with a little bit better coils, spark plugs, cold air intake, a little bit better injectors, get a pedal commander and then get this thing tuned, you can get anywhere from 15 to 25 horsepower without doing anything major. Uh, I'm not going that route because it's just my daily driver, but uh, let's fire it up and see what it sounds like on the intake side and see if the exhaust note changes any. Still sounds about the same on the intake side. A little bit of a drone, but that could be because I'm also hearing the exhaust in my garage. All right, well, I'm hungry for some lunch. I'll take it out for a drive later. I'm sure that'll be a different video, but uh, there was a cold air intake. Um, my engine cover I am painting. That'll be shown later. I don't like that intake. They're ugly, but also the engine covers are ugly, so I'm painting mine. But that's it. There's your cold air intake install. Uh, sounds good. Looks good. Have a great day.